All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Look at this, today I'm in the house with a pouch which uh, contains a knife, which in this case is the Cobalt Custom Knife Sog uh, that I've got here with me for a review. We're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this bad boy. But first of all, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this uh, uh, fella right over here, made in Texas by Blaine Moen. This is the Cobalt Custom Sog Nitro V Titanium Micarta Knife, which comes with this uh, nylon uh, Velcro patch. And you got it right over here on the table. Let's quickly check out the size of this fella because you get uh, almost 3.5 inch long for the cutting edge and almost 5 inches long for the handle which is going to add up to 8.3 probably inches overall in length. Let's quickly check this guy out. For example, you got Benchmade bug out and Benchmade mini bug out right over here to attest the size of this custom which is not too big because for example if you check uh, uh, Spyderco Para Military 2 you're going to see that it's smaller than that but much more cutting edge for sure and the Para 3, of course, is going to be uh, smaller uh, for uh, compared to the SOG. Uh, this is a, a large Sebenza 21 by Chris Reeve. And of course, here you get to see the small Sebenza 21, also Chris Reeve, to show you that, uh, for example, we are kind of like in the ballpark of large Sebenza, just a tiny bit smaller than that. Um, I want to show you a couple uh, uh, curious one here. I've got a P custom knife uh, uh, front flipper Russian custom and with some nice uh, funky scales. Uh, look at this Kirby Lambert rain to show you how we are doing with this. Uh, uh, let me show you another custom right over here. Of course, uh, Peter Rassenti large Nirvana 3.0. And you get to see also like a Brian Nado Void uh, XL. And F and of course, let me show you a couple Shiro. Uh, custom Division F5 Silk and the Neon NL also Custom Division to give you a complete picture of the size for this SOG, which is actually a nice custom knife. It's a there's a couple of nitpicks that I have for this one, but it's, it's nice. I mean, overall, as a nice shape, I like it. It's made in US, in Texas. It's a custom knife, so it's not gonna be like properly cheap, but still the materials are there because look at these slabs of titanium, uh, sandblasted. You can see some snail trails because this has been carried, but uh, um, the liners uh, or scales, because I mean, this what is this, a frame lock, a bolster lock? Uh, it's uh, kind of hard to say, but let's call it frame lock with because these are not in lays, but not liner lock, bolster lock. It is uh, a locking knife for sure, uh, which has some uh, titanium material and uh, some micarta material for the scales and for the backspacer. It has uh, some nicely rounded off edges like you can see right over here and very well contoured uh, set of scales. So pretty good. You do get uh, a large finger groove which is gonna allocate easily your finger. So it's gonna be pretty comfy in the hand. Uh, also you do get of course a matching micarta backspacer which is reaching out, uh, reaching up, up to the top, uh, protecting the tip of the blade which is of course centered and uh, it's not uh, protruding not you're not going to be able to touch it so super safe um, the backspacer uh, doesn't allow you to use a lanyard hole because there's no holes uh, but it's uh, it's well made and uh, of course it's matching the scales um, also, like you do have a very simple construction. You can also check my maintenance video if you want to know how uh, this guy looks on the inside. It, it's okay. I mean, you get T8 uh, T screws for the scales. Uh, you do get like, I think that's a T10 for the pivot screw, which is domed and uh, sticking out just a little bit. Not, uh, it's not, uh, there's no, yeah, it's not bothering me, but it's just right there. Um, what I would have preferred he, over here would be would have been the um, uh, stainless steel lock face insert with a, not so much the over travel because this guy can act as that, but uh, because I'm feeling a tiny bit of lock stick like creeping up. If you flip it hard, a tiny bit, you see. So that would have benefit uh, uh, for sure for um, with a stainless steel lock face insert. Flip it hard. Just a tiny bit, no, nothing that our ox guard wouldn't be able to fix, but still, it's there. Um, 
also like uh, the pocket clip it's probably not my jam but I see it working very well clip entrance uh, and exiting uh, ramp are pretty good the tension is dialed in but I think it's widening too much at the end I like that the uh, the clip is uh, following the, 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 the edge of the scale, but probably it's a little bit too wide over here. And this much knife is going to be sticking out uh, from your pocket uh, from this uh, nicely sculpted and blasted titanium tip-up carry only, not reversible clip. So uh, this is also like a pretty cool blade, I have to say. Um, Nitro V steel with some uh, very very fine blasting uh, uh, media used to finish this blade that has no jimping and that's probably my second nitpick because I oh I would have loved something here to grip like something to give you know a little bit of traction to uh, my thumb but there's nothing it's pretty uh, sleek there is no chamfering there's just like a large swedge starting from here and reaching a little bit lower the tip you see on this side a little bit higher this side a little bit lower so there's not uh, really 100% uh, uh, ground symmetry I mean a little bit lower we're talking about like really uh, fractions of a millimeter uh, but then you get like a full 100% belly up to the tiny finger choil which of course is a sharpening choil but you can actually use it as a uh, finger choil but where's the jimping so it's not there you do have um, a um, this feels like kind of very very shallow hollow grind for the primary bevel and you have no uh, billboarding whatsoever going on which I love uh, plunge grind very nicely done it's uh, recessed back so it uh, can expose all this uh, uh, edge to the sharpening tool um, the stock thickness is gonna be yeah 0.182 so it's a little bit uh, chunky and uh, the thickness behind the edge is gonna be yeah 0 0.028 so it's a little bit uh, thick behind the edge but still it's you know it's thick at the stock level so uh, just keep that in mind also the flipper tab has no jimping as well as the uh, blade and uh, not really much chamfering going on also what is uh, this is the sound when you open it and when you close it so it's not not the great, greatest acoustics uh, I've ever heard but uh, it's gonna do the job I mean it's all right it's listenable it's not too loud but it's not intriguing I don't know how to explain but nothing special for the sound uh, yeah in this one let's check the weight because this guy is on the heavy side the thick stock uh, no skeletonization thick slabs of titanium are gonna contribute to get this knife up to five, uh, five point sixty seven uh, ounces in your pocket so you're gonna feel it definitely also like you're gonna feel uh, it's this area here because there's a little bit of a hot spot like if you squeeze the knife I get something from this part over here and uh, beside that maybe just a tiny bit on this part if you know it's just gonna jam up against my index finger but nothing too crazy um, the lack of jimping is probably this, the thing that is bothering me a little bit more. Uh, you can do like a reverse grip uh, pretty easily. Not so much. I mean, yeah, you kind of can choke up, but the finger choil is pretty small. So I would be ending up like that and cutting myself. So I probably would just uh, do like a more advanced thumb and maybe this guy using, you know, the flipper tab as a finger guard, something like this uh, is going to be all right. Um, uh, it feels absolutely solid in the hand. I mean, there's some nice texture going on which is reducing the slipperiness of the handle and uh, it's 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 well made uh, well put together I see I do see some gaps like here for example you see there's a tiny gap between the titanium and the micarta I uh, do see a little bit right over here nothing too crazy but it's something that I'm noticing you see maybe on this side you see with the touch you can kind of feel that the backspace is a little bit below the level of the liners but i mean i'm like just nitpicking here because it's actually well made uh, uh, knife but there's that it's not 100 uh, percent um flush like over here i mean this is this gap is normal of course but 
here you can see there is a little bit of gaps. Um, also, there's no rattling when you shake this fella. Uh, there is no blade plate, super solid. That is for sure. Um, there's a tiny bit of uh, lock stick going on like that, but it's all right. Uh, flipper tab works like yeah, push button works, but no, I mean, yeah, that's super easy. Light switch is gonna be uh, your preferred method uh, to deploy the blade of this fella. Also, this guy is running on bearings, of course. So you can also check my maintenance video to see how this guy is uh, uh, built under the hood. And you can actually see that the action is very satisfying. I mean, deploy is pretty fast. You disengage the blade and the, uh, you get the free fall effect. You just do this and the blade is gonna want to close into the handle, which is a pretty cool thing. Also, you do have a nice area here to disengage the lock bar, which is milled out on both sides, but actually it's kind of narrow. So you have to put the finger like that, not like this. Yeah, it kind of works, but put it angled a little bit and you're gonna be in business like that. So, I mean, overall, this guy is, uh, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this fella. And also like something like that I forgot to mention, the detent is kind of on the light side. So uh, combine that with a heavy blade, uh, of course you get like this uh, falling action, but uh, the fact that there's no jimping, the fact that it's a little bit narrow, the fact that the clip is like that and the gaps are, uh, creating those mixed uh, feelings because I do like the blade, I do like the finish and nice swedge. Uh, the action is actually pretty good. I, I like it and um, the micarta, it's me, I'm not a fan of micarta and probably the clip a little bit. But I mean, overall, this guy, it feels good in the hand except for that. And I wanted to like it, but probably this is not for me, but still, it's a pretty good one. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.